Hey guys and girls, welcome to part 39 of uh, Freedom City here in a city's skyline. So, what have we been doing the last episode? Well, a lot, especially here in this section. Uh, we have been rebuilding most of our warehouses, uh, put all the most of the materials back into place. And as you can see, I bushed up the place a little bit and put some raw materials in the ground because I was thinking a little bit like, you know what, unique factories over here and all the industries over there, it's like, mm, we need a little bit of raw materials somewhat closer to home, I thought to myself. Also put some, some stuff in the ground here as well. And uh, yeah, so... The idea is actually simple. Um, I want to create like an, I think it's ore. Yeah, I think this is oil. This is ore. And actually between <laughs> these warehouses, I can put actually a, uh, a sort of uh, lightly uh, forest industry just to supply uh, all the goods that are needed. Yeah, that's the uh, general idea. Now I've been monkeying around a little bit uh, with uh, with all these uh, unique factories. I gave them some dedicated roads. Now, in the future, not yet, on the, not not now, not on this episode. I want to also supply all these, you know, warehouses with their uh, separate warehouses, so they can store like you know the the things that they actually need because. Most of the times they are screaming for something, you know, it's like if we get out of this view Now let's have a look and we have a screamer. Yeah, we have enough screamers like we have screamers here for days so these have plastics glass, but no metals and Yeah, well, okay now they have metals, but okay. How about this one? For example, this one lacks animal products, so they have crops and plastics, but I would put like, you know, in the neighborhood here, small warehouses, they, they don't have to be big, that contains, you know, the, the stuff that these factories need. And that will be accountable for all of these unique factories over here. Yeah. Now, I have been also watching the finances tab, and if I look at the overall figure, now, currently it's profitable, but... In most cases, this income dives below the expenses. It means like, means like that the warehouses that are currently on the map, they are not having too much to do. Now, two causes can be the cause of this. First of all, I just put them there. So they still need to be filling up. Well, and while they are filling up, they are not making any profit. Kind of makes sense. Or, second of all, they do simply not get enough raw material. So, um, time will tell, and that's why I'm not doing directly something, you know, about, about you know, building more of these um, industrial areas. But we are going to focus on the water bridge around here, uh, which is driving me nuts. Really, it's driving me nuts because there's all we have also a metro line. We have like we have like train lines, we have like a monorail, we have like roads, another road, we have a metro line going on the ground, we have these buildings over here. Connecting this stuff it's like it seems like hopeless. So I've been thinking, you know what? If I can for example not go on the ground because look here's a metro station. Um I've been thinking about something else. You know, if you cannot go directly from one place to the other, you know, from A to B, why not go around the situation? Ha, yeah, indeed. Around the situation. Hmm, interesting. That means, like, that I sort of am thinking of, well, that still is, like, awkward because we are dealing with these, these things, etc., so it has to be come all the way from sort of this area. And here also are roads and stuff. But that does not matter. Nope, it won't. So we will get a, we will get started by demolishing this, this, and this. 
Uh, then let's demolish also this, uh, and then that road. Let's change that road. Let's pick it with picket mod like this, and then bring it up like that, 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 and that. And here we go. Now let's see if we can dig a trench to the other side. I really want this thing to be connected to this area. I don't care how I'm going to do it, I am going to do it. <laughs> yeah. So, let's see, here we go. This is the first step. Ooh, it's a, that's a big brush size. Also pretty deep, you know, if you ask me. Is it really necessary to be that deep? I mean, look at it. I mean, that's like a whole gob of water, you know? Let's make it a little bit less deep. Maybe something like this. I mean, it will still flood, right? Yeah. Okay, that, you know, that reduces the chances of uh, flooding uh, a lot. So, let's see. Okay. Uh, will we go directly to that, to that direction? Do we have, like, also train jams over here? Oh, my life. We have train jams. Something else to be looking at in the next episode <laughs> not now okay first of all i'm just going to put this thing train train jams yeah those are my favorites <laughs> to try to solve them here we go we just go around love the landscaping yep 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 here we go So, we take it all the way to there, and I have no idea if there's something in the ground here, what might be, well, causing interference, I don't know. Uh, here, I think I will immediately go that way, and then that way. <laughs> what a mess I'm already creating. But I love it. I really love it, you know, that in, that, in this game. It's like, you know, it's part of the game, you know, the mess that you are creating because when you are creating a mess you also have to solve it that's also fun uh, okay so this can directly go here we go connect up to there nice now it needs to be wide enough for ships to go through so let's make sure that that is possible yeah just like that also here it seems not real wide also here also not uh here as well okay now now we need to do these roads uh, because these roads are not set to be in bridge mode so let's do that uh road then we select the bridge mode this one here we go <laughs> it was already overflowing it so let me hurry. Um, why is there a train jam? That you know, I I'm already kind of annoyed you now by seeing a train jam. Why is there a train jam? I have no idea. It's um, actually not something I want to be busy with. I only want to upgrade this this track, please. Thank you. To a bridge, like that. Okay. The same goes for these, these. You know, it's also be possible that um, I have to remove them anyway because ship uh, ship pads are very uh, delicate if it comes to um, you know roads that are crossing the the bridge uh, the the river. <coughs> And here we go. So, okay. So the only thing we need now is the water to get through it. <laughs> this is exciting. Oh, I do. I don't know if a ship path will even go through here. But anyway, it does not matter. It will fill up. Well, let's just uh, wait for it. You know, shall we?
well just to think of it you know we can wait for it but let's get out of here but maybe it's better to maybe remove trees and all that kind of stuff and maybe also get out of these unnecessary boulders yeah. let's remove that let me see do we have still more stuff around here no we don't nope so let me have a look at the water situation because that is what we are doing so this water has now yeah now let's see if we can get a uh, shipping lane through it and let's see if that will work out it would be nice you know, hopefully without get over here so from there that works water required yeah, probably this is not wide enough. Okay, okay, fair enough. We are going to make this a little bit wider. That means also that this must be also become wider because... Yeah, 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 yeah. Just make it a little bit wider. I think you can better have a little bit too much space and not need it, then vice versa. Okay. Now, let's try this again. Because if we can create this route, I mean, that would really save up a lot, you know? It would really, really save up a lot. Still, it says water required. Now, is that because of that bridge or not? I think so, because this yellow circle does fit into this area uh yeah that's a bummer so i have to pause the game now i have to play so it updates a little bit and then we get back to our shipping path pause again and now yeah and now it fits so the road was the corporate in this case Sometimes it allows it through, but sometimes it doesn't. Now this is this will be interesting, you know. This will be. Look at the amount of pillars, you know, <laughs> in my life. Uh, yeah, maybe I have to change this entire road section somehow. I think so. Yes. So let me do that. First of all, remove. Because this road can also go straight on and then take a more straight approach over than the new Formby River because otherwise it will just go you know otherwise it will just go diagonally over the you know over the water piece. Uh, let me see these train lines and these train lines. Uh, well I have to raise them anyway, so let me remove those as well. I need to have and this is definitely not a, a nice option so let me remove this and this they can be joined together again so okay now we have like a flood over here nice <laughs> mm. what would happen if I delete this would the trains disappear <laughs> <laughs> I'm evil. I'm evil, I know. <laughs> I'm so I'm so evil. Okay, let me fix that. Yeah, here we go. Now let's check this out. Uh, shipping lines, okay, which are these? Oh man, I really love the idea that ships can pass through this area. Come on, don't give me that. Water required. Press play again. How can it say that? What required? Oop, wait a second. Okay, let's let's press play for a moment. Maybe it needs to update because there were like these uh, train lines um, blocking uh, its paths. 
So, okay. Now let's try it again. Now this is kind of weird, you know? Why would it not be able to... Oh, yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And... Thank you! Hey, here we go. Make a shortcut here. Yeah, we finally made it! Ha <laughs> ha! So, now, the question is now, what are we going to do? Are we going to keep all this uh, stuff off? Uh, but definitely that these bridges need to be higher, so... Let's pause the game now and say like, okay, remove this stuff and remove this stuff. Because if ships needs to go, ships needs to go underneath it, then we definitely need to go up into the air. That makes sense. So let's start with this thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, we are going into the air and we take this option and actually... We need a little bit more space. Headspace, actually. So here we go. Uh, let's turn on the snap tool, road guidelines, all that nice stuff. We take it up by 12. And here we go again. It, it does ugly things, okay. Then we turn this off. We do it manually. 24. And then we need another 12. Would be nice to bring it up to 36. Thank you. And then here it's like guessing work. And then here I will just delete this whole sh well, schmuck. <laughs> schmuck. And then it will be like 36 down. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Let's connect these up again and come to the conclusion that it's not 100% straight. Holy moly. <laughs> I know I like it. But uh, we are going to do that train line first, which is next to it. This one. And afterwards we can always monkey around with, um, you know, with with those things now let's see um this thing is already into the air so that has some advantages but i, I want to keep the same let me see can i do it without breaking anything this is already 12 right no not 12 this used to be 24 4 or 36 already. I have no idea. What is the height of this thing? No, uh, let me check this out. 24. Okay, okay. Thank you. So you go away. 24. Take this option. So this will be 24. And then technically... Here should be then 36. I will just make it 36 and we are going to the other side. Here will be 36 and then here we take this away and then from here to there will also be 36. Uh, I need to remove another section. Do this again and go all the way to there and press home. Ah, 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 ah. Wait a second, is that still in the... Oh, it's still in the air. Okay, okay. Then we can go to... Yeah. This point, because this point is like at 12. 12. And here we go. Nice. Okay, let's do some... Stuff with a move it mod. First of all, I want to align this thing with this node. Yeah. Also align this one with, wait a second, get over here, control H with that one, mm, that seems a little bit off, but 
Yeah, seems a little bit off. Control H to that one. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's take this note, this note, this note, and that note. And we are aligning it all to this note. Whoa, that's a lot higher. Uh huh. Well, that seems to be okay, you know. Look at this. I mean, it's nearly, you know, they're sticking to each other like like a gum. So I think the best solution now is like to do this sort of manually, I guess. Uh, let me see. Yeah, like that. So there's a pillar. So we bring this up. And then we do the same here, bringing this also up. And here we have like a weird, well, thing going on. We have missing pillar, but okay, you know, that's that's a worry for later. Uh, yeah, so, um, what I want to do is I want to just press play. But the thing is, you know, we have all these broken roads. Um, but I want to see ships actually going, you know taking this route that would be awesome you know to see if they actually would take it um okay you go away and let's make the foundations for some key wall yeah that would be nice uh let me have a look so key wall we have a key wall here Take it there, nice. Oh man, this goes all the way to there. Look at that. Holy moly. Hmm. I don't know. Can we make like a bend in a key wall that follows more or something? Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, it, uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but maybe. This seems not okay. Uh, okay, let's try this. Let's see, how is this going? Like that. And then from here to roughly there. Now let's see if we can make a curve here from here to there oh mama so you go away so this road came in from here to there to there okay let me fix that you know let me fix those roads first you know I think that's more important than to uh, actually monkeying around with uh, with key walls right now so let's take this road uh it needs to go over that train line not doing that please thank you now let's see i cannot read it the construction costs are in my way this is kind of weird you know i never had that in the past before but now suddenly I do, for some reason. Uh, this has to go to, yeah, there, yeah, okay. That's, yeah, that seems proper, nice. Now this bend uh, needs to be re-bended, you know, in the sense of like, uh, it has to be tighter. What if I just take this and this? And then take this option and say already here 12 up in the air and down then we have already the first 12 uh, how far do we need to go to that okay we can make a band of let's say 10 by 10 like this and also bring it up further into the air to 24 um 
if this is 10 by 10 how far do we need to go to here no that's not the right spot let me see how i can figure how can i figure that out what is the distance here four units four units that from here to there Seems legit. Now, from here to there, 12 units will bring it up to 36, our favorite number. Lucky number 36. Do the same over here, 36. And then from here to the other side. I like this, you know, with the bridge. Yeah. And also here. Like that. So we keep the bridge at the same, the pillars at the same level. Now, now the road is flooding again. Can we flip that road around? Mm-hmm. Okay, the only thing that we need to do is like uh, make sure that this now comes into... Oh, that's not the same height. Why not? Well, something to worry about later. First of all, we need to get down. Now let's see what we can do. 12 units and we bring it down to 24. 12 units, 24. Uh, okay. This we bring, oh, this is already, this is already in the air. 12 meters, oh, that's nice. That's nice because that means like if we bring this up to, come on, I cannot see it. Uh, stop monkeying around. 24 here. 24 there. And then it's just a matter of bringing these two together. And a lot of eyeballing trying to make the curve. Here to there. 9 by 10. I think that's not bad. That's certainly not bad, and a 14 by 30. Nice! Flip that around, and now that traffic can still not resume because this bridge is still missing. Haha, <laughs> mommy! And the bad thing is, like, this is part of a big junction that makes it very awkward. Um, yeah, that means, like, that this on ramp here definitely needs to uh, be shorter because yeah it needs to go into the air and also we need the headway on this road as well yeah the first ships are coming guys hey uh, one way is coming okay so okay let's see how we are going to do this first we go to the ground and we start here, 12 by 12, 12 by 24, now what if we do this all the way to 24 like that, I don't think we can get it to 36 from here, no, but I will see how far we can get it from here not 36 but then 34 okay 34 come on 34 yep yeah, from here okay we can fix that with the move it mod no issues there you go there And you will go there. Nice. Not bad. Flip, 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 and flip, and flip, and flip, and we all get flipped. Now, 
this will be exciting <laughs> to get this like done, you know. Mm, okay. Uh, first of all, we need a four laner for this piece, this piece, and this needs to go up. I take a 10 by a 12. Yeah, that's this one. And I take another 10 by a 24. Don't know, has it any effect? Yeah, it's a little bit more slopier, but it's okay. Uh, three lanes, are these things coming together properly? This is 36. So this needs to drop to 24. Yeah, that's the same height. You know what? We monkey around with the move it mod. I don't care, you know. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do and uh, that's it. And let's see, 24. Now I'll we'll just connect it up. That's the wrong road. And this needs to be the three lane. Yeah, three lane, three lane. And this is also three lane. Yep. Well, at least, uh, well, nearly they can drive again. Except for here, we need to attach this. Hey, are you go away? Mm. Oh, that is still in the air. Ah, I see. Okay, let's bring this down then, like that. Home. Here we go. No place like home. From here, we bring it down there. Nice. Now, with the move it mod, we bend this sort of into shape. Nice. Uh, bend it a little bit back. Okay, traffic manager. And here we will do like the shift S. You know, don't sit in each other's way. You know, we know the drill, we know the stuff, we know all that, you know, all those things. Ah, nice, 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 nice. Also here. Now, I won't say this is like uh, deserving a beauty, beauty prize, but... Um, yeah. Now, let's see what we can do. Let's say if I take... It's also about, you know, about the where are the nodes, you know, you have to make sure that the nodes are at the same place. For example, here, the, the nodes, you know, the pillars, for example, are nicely aligned, you know, here also, here also, and then here they start to get out of each other because of the bend. So, let's drag this to there, yeah, and then here we are dragging this to there. Okay, this starts to bend a little bit. Uh, this is also fine, yeah. Uh huh. Okay, now let's grab this one and we align that with that one, which is fine. We take this one, align it with that one, which stays the same. And this looks like the same height, except the whole sloping thing is like completely off. So let's see if we can use this option to say like come on you from you 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 all the way to there uh-huh and then enter it good and then we do the same over here enter it so is this now the same is this the same or not Well, it certainly does not look bad. I mean, could have been worse. And look at this mess. 
Um, well, the pillars are roughly in the same spot, so I would say like, let's select this, 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 and this until there. Enter. And then we do here the same. Da -da 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 -da, to there. Enter. That should be also then the same. Yeah, it's, it's sort of the same, yeah. Okay, so that traffic can go again. Uh, these train lines are also still severed. Oh, my life, it never ends. Uh, what was connected to what? Now, I think this was connected to that, right? What kind of train line? This is a, car a cargo line. And let me have, let me have a look. Yeah, this is a cargo line. And this one was also a cargo line, which was going to... Oh yeah, it's there, yes. This needs to go there, over there. Um, interesting. Uh, how are we going to solve this mess? Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, let's use the move it mod here. We're dragging this back. That's the first thing we're going to do. Now, let's grab this thing over here. Uh, turn this off. Bend it. And then let's get to where we want to be, which is then roughly around here. Yeah, that is the general idea. And from here, I want to make a bend, um, which is very tight, by the way, but... Mm, although maybe we can make... Yeah, that is an option. If we do it like... The... Okay, this is like... Why make it on that side? We can also make it on the other side. You know, we can just also say like... it here this is like 32 u i mean it's more than enough and then we make like a train connection there and from here we do it to there connected yes connected yes connected yes now it's a little bit more easy to bend this around and then make it come together with this one yeah okay let's make this a curve and to that direction and now let me have a look we need to mm, okay we go below this road over that one uh where do we need to go actually i lost track uh, oh, this one has to connect it to there. Oh, oh I, I, I overshot my target. Mm -hmm. Well, that can happen. So, okay, we do it again. 24, right? 24. It's already at 70 meters, so 17 and 24 is 41. I think 40 will do. Oh man, that has to come all the way to there. Oh my life. Can we do a 36? Yeah, we can manage a 36 by a 36 for a perfect slope to the other side. Which we have like 
over here. Nice. Where is that? Here's that other one. So how does that hold up? Now what if I take the moving mod and I come on and I pick this node and I line that node with this node. Yeah, that works. So the only thing remaining now is just bend it around, I guess. It's a little bit off, but we can fix that between here and let's say there and then enter for a more nicer slope. Look at that. That's nice. We can do the same here. Select it from yeah there to there. Enter. Yeah, I, I really love this tool. You know, this I, there are many options still in here. I need to figure out, but uh, yeah, I really do like it. So what remains is uh, this connection, which has to be connected to that connection. Oh, okay. Well, shall we do that? Do we still have time for that? Okay, 36 by 36. And the 36. Ooh, look at that. It's going straight over the other one. Is that straight? Uh, yeah, it's straight. And does do these sit each other in each other's way? Not really. And <laughs> this is the most ridiculous, you know, connection I ever made. You know, regarding a train connection. Now look at this mess. This is like. It is what it is, you know, exactly what it is. It's a mess. Okay, I need to make a curve that is like 36 in total length. This is like 22 in 13, that's 35. And this is, this is 36. Now I press home, click, done. It's nearly the perfect slope, yeah. Okay, let's take this to Terraforma and then just sort of, let's see how far we can bend this, like there. Now what's the distance here? This is like 27, okay. Okay, uh, okay, 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 okay. Let's see how far we can get this. Uh, roughly to here and then from here to there. So that's not your you know, standard uh, connection, um, train connection, but hey ho, hey ho, it works, you. Uh, how about this mess? Oh my life, you know, this is also a mess. Sorry, 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 sorry. But also you have to be raised, otherwise this cannot work. Uh, let me see. It's already 12 in the air. So I only require 24. 24 to, okay, 36. Here we have our 36, but I do not want to have that. Uh, those things. Yep, I want that. Thank you. Okay, so let's pull those this away. And then here we save 36, right? 36, home, done. And then connect this up to there. That is not a good connection. The sloppy work. Now it's connected. The city zoo. 
Yeah, let's see. With the uh, move it mod, we can remove this pillar. Uh, bulldoze that away. Come on. Yep. These pillars should not be an issue. These also not. Um, yeah. So. How about these pillars, by the way? Uh, well, actually, we can move that around a little bit. Where is the chip path? Uh, let me have a look. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I was a little bit distracted by an incoming message on my phone. So, let me see. Oh, there's the ship pad. So, okay. So, if I move, if I slide this a little bit over, I think things will be all right. So, take the move mod, this thing. So, we take this note and this note. We slide them over. Ooh, come on. Hey, you stay. Come on. Yeah, that seems fair enough. You know, I'm just still missing, you know, these... These pillars over here. Huh. Yeah, that's not the general idea, of course. I mean, there is the pillar, but... Okay, so just drag it a little bit away and then here, we, here you have your pillar. Mm-hmm. So here, drag it a little bit away, and there's the pillar. Yay! Then put the pillar into its place, and then move it up a little bit. Then move it down until it moves out of sight. Most of it. I think it's good enough. Yeah, I think that this uh, new waterway will uh, definitely help a lot. I mean, we have a lot of ships are passing through it right now. So I think, yes, that uh, is a good thing. Now, before I conclude this episode that took uh, a lot of time already, you know, by creating this passageway, is looking at the finances about the warehouses now indeed as we can see and i think that this is the issue is like that currently we have so many warehouses i mean all the warehouses here not only those but even four of this these big ones over here they are simply not filled up enough so they're not doing anything um and that requires uh, us for the next episode to create more industrial uh, area now I did place a few of these uh, grounds over here as well mm, I think also off screen that I will add a little bit more uh, residential also to the neighborhood and uh, this little bulge here you know is a very nice spot you know to live maybe here alongside this as well I don't know maybe some along this line that would be nice you know to live here you know some some low residential here well that would be nice you know but then i need to figure something to do with this train line yeah maybe put it on the on underground maybe for peace bit i don't know anyway so guys so anyway uh this thing um well it's working and uh, it needs a little bit of tlc here here and there especially with the pillars but uh, also, you know, with the uh, with the key walls, etc. I will uh, fix all that stuff off screen. Then, in the next episode, episode 40, then it will all be looking very neat and tight, and you will never see the difference. But at least we do have now our extra. Whoa! Here we go. And look at that. We have our extra shipping lane now connecting to that area. Okay guys, thank you for watching and I will see you back in, in episode 40.
See you guys. Bye-bye.